Mm-hmm. Talk to me about me and your first wife. You say you were celibate for two years. Mm-hmm. You celibate. Are, are you now saying to yourself, look, I'm a man, I have needs and, and I need to just meet a woman. No. How, how does it, how does this first wife come into your life? At that point, I had been cheated on, too. So I had been cheated on by my last girlfriend who I tried to hold the relationship. Is, is that the same girlfriend we were so talking had, about earlier? Yeah, the one I moved yeah. out to California mm-hmm. with. So that heartbreak kind of turned me off when it came to um, sexual relationships or dating women because I felt like she was the most thorough woman on the whole earth, to be honest. You know, I felt like she was the one. She was solid. She was an honest person. She had class and dignity. She was a classy young lady. Um, she wasn't just like some hood rat or nothing. So, man, when I got cheated on, because people thought I was goofy, I guess, you know, people, people started thinking like this dude's going crazy, you know? And so she cheated on me, man. And it just turned me off to be honest. I wasn't really even interested in dating after that. Really. I just wanted to find God. I I was down to die about it. Like all I wanted to do was, was find the creator who's sending me these signs, you know, who created this. I started feeling like I was on to the patterns and I wasn't the creator. So I'm like, I just want to do this. That's the only thing I cared about. I was like, yo, I could die. I had ops. So you got to think, growing up in St. Louis, it's like Chicago and stuff. Like, it's a very grimy city. So I had ops. I felt like I could die any day. I had been set up. I have been shot at multiple times, uh, jumped. I had been through so much that even as a young kid, I just thought I could die any day. All I wanted to do was just get closer. That's all my mindset was in that time period. It was like, you know, let me just get as close as I can get. If I die, let me die honorable. You know, whoever's watching me, let them see me. Like, that's where my mindset was at in that time. I wasn't even, I didn't even want a date. I just wanted to to, to find the truth, you know? Okay. So walk me through. And and again, paint the picture for, for me in this audience. Because I, I, I'm trying, you know, women are, are, are jealous. Women want mm-hmm. you and only you, and they don't want you looking at another mm-hmm. woman. Help me to understand True. what the conversation looks like when your first wife wife walks into your life. How do you even approach a conversation like this? And was she into the lifestyle? Okay. And it just made it easier for you. No, uh, none of my wives that I'm dating right now, none of them were doing poly before me. This was all of their first time. So um, the first queen that I was dating, we were friends first. And so as friends, I would talk to her about stuff and she would ask me little things like, are you dating anybody? And then I would, you know, let her know why I'm not or or if I did go out on a date, why it didn't work or what I thought about the person. And I think at some point me and her were, were like minded. I would see how she would interact with me and um at some point, me and her kind of were getting attracted to each other. And I told her, before we get too attracted, let's just be honest. I'm interested in a polygynous lifestyle. So, Did, did you have to explain you know, that to her? This... Yeah, I had okay, to explain because that. Okay, because that's not before something the... most people, it's like, what, what exactly is that? Right, right. So I had to explain it to her. Um, and she had to believe it can work because we also, we didn't see anybody doing it. Okay, so st- stop for stop for was... a minute. Like like <laughs> you we can't gloss past this part. You okay, and this woman, were, were you intimate when you told her you're interested in, in this poly lifestyle? No, not at you that guys far. had never gotten no. that far. Never gotten that far. Oh, okay. No. Because I didn't want to I didn't want to get that far because it was like, um, I don't want to play around. You know, um, I seen that we were getting attracted to each other. And I said, yo, before we start having sex, before we become a couple, before it becomes a thing, I got to let you know, like, where I see this going. You know, I'm not at a standstill in life. My life is growing right now. I'm following God. I'm following the creator. Um, If you're going to take this journey with me, it's bigger than us. It's going to be more wives. And I'm trying to build something here. I plan on having a family, a big dynasty one day and helping our nation helping us as quote unquote black Americans, like get back into our bag. And there was a lot of spiritual stuff too. So it was like, um, she was open to a lot of the spiritual ideas and she was open to studying a lot of the same things as me. So I think that was a powerful point too, that, you know, um, I had met other women who weren't even interested in some of the ideologies that I was studying, you know? 
So me and her were like-minded, and when we were studying things, she also seen how in the past there were multiple wives. Okay, let's talk about her for one second. Did she grow up in the church? No. She did not. And I think that helped us, to be honest. Why so? Because because I think if we grew up in the church, we would have been kind of had a stigma already of that was wrong and that was bad. Um, and then, um, when we're studying our own things, like when we're studying scriptures, we see Abraham had multiple wives and we see Solomon and David and we see, um, these men, these, these biblical figures and how they had multiple wives. So we, you know, we had our own perspective on the scriptures even because, um, I read the Bible for myself also around this time meeting her as well. So, um, I, you know, I was on that journey where I was like, okay, I see what they're doing in the scriptures as well. And I knew that what I was doing was right. Okay. How old was she when you, when you guys started dating? Okay. So she's just one year younger than me. So she must've been 21, 22. Okay. So both of you guys are kids. Mm -hmm. This was not part of the fabric of who she was. She wasn't raised this way. And as right. you're talking to her, you're finding that she is really open to following you on the spiritual journey. Because I gotta believe that her, like most women, it's I'm looking for mm-hmm. a husband. I'm looking for at that time maybe a boyfriend right. that turns into a husband. I, right, it, right. It's just very interesting to me um, that you found a woman that was even credit. open to this concept, knowing I'm not going to be the right. only one. This is just the start, and who knows where it ends. Right, yeah, and and she was open, and um, it was verification for me. That was a sign for me that I'm going in the right direction. Um, I let her know what I was doing, and it registered with her, and she was, oh, well, I kind of had this in my mind a little bit in her own type of way, like deep down in her mind, like, she had found herself going, I want to build a family, a big tribe. And she said uh, she wanted a husband, but she also was becoming interested in women too, to where she was like, she wanted some type of relationship with a woman in her life too. And I think, um, so it was kind of like we aligned at that point and we were going, think we can actually do this, you know? And she was open and she said, and she was honest and she was righteous. And so for me, that was verification. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.